This stone marks the spot where General U.S. Grant had his last view of the valley, July 20, 1885. I like being able to put myself in the place where President Grant was in the days and hours before he passed away to, to have a monument to his last views. So this is the path that visitors can now take, and it was the path where Ulysses S. Grant was wheeled uh, in his final days to take in this. <laughs> wow. Uh, you can see why, even though he was late in life and about to pass away, he wanted to take in this spectacular view one last time. Perhaps this view was, he thought, to be heaven-like. He was in a race to complete his memoirs here, so a lot of the images and a lot of the imagery you see is related to his memoirs, which he did manage to complete. He took uh, Samuel Clements, uh, Mark Twain here as a visitor because Twain collaborated with him on finishing and distributing uh, his memoirs. President Grant and his entire family were here, so they, they filled up the place quite well, but uh, inside, this is kind of neat that uh, much of what he used, much of what uh, was here and available at the time is still intact. So this is where the president spent most of his time. In fact, uh, the chairs are still here where he slept because of the problems associated with the tumor in his neck and his throat. He couldn't lie down flat in bed, so he would sleep sitting up in two chairs butted up against one another. He was in a race to finish his memoirs here uh, before he passed away. They said uh, that he sharpened his own pencils. So these were the pencils, or, or at least similar to what the pencils were that he was using. Many of his, his night clothes, his toothbrush, his hairbrush, um, some uh, cocaine water, which was used at the time for pain associated with uh, his tumor in his neck, uh, robes, and his famous, in many of the, the photographs, his famous top hat is still on display here. This is where Ulysses S. Grant actually passed away. He wasn't able to sleep in a bed because of the tumor, but when it became clear that he was going to pass away, they brought down a, a bed from the nearby hotel so he could rest more peacefully before he passed, and they stopped the clock on the mantel in the parlor, and it remains at 8.08. This is what it looked like on August 4th, 1885. In fact, the flowers from the president's funeral are still intact, which is part of the tour here. To think that the whole world at the time, certainly the United States and the whole world was tuned into what was happening here on top of Mount McGregor in Wilton, New York, it's just amazing and that most people don't realize it. All right, I got a bit of a confession to make. I live about three miles from here and I have never once brought my children here. So I'm feeling a little shameful about that, but there are plenty of tours available here at Grant Cottage from May through October and they even do private tours. So if you get a chance, check it out. I highly recommend it.